to say? Senior talent show or senior con? How do you want to host it then? Some kind of host event or something. <laughs> Which would work for senior talent show? Yeah, it's probably easiest. Yeah. Yeah. Or mm, maybe con, because all the ones have their own talent show. Too. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, then let's just do senior con talent show and then we can say it then. Yeah. We're excited to to share with you guys today um, why there's a talent show and why it's so popular. Yeah. If you want to start off with one, David can bring in that file. Yeah. Bring the file. We're, we're, we're like, oh, we're not, we're not. Oh, going. we're just whispering. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Someone help this man. Oh jeez. Can you hear me, Bahar? Okay. That's. Oh, okay. That's that's. Yeah, I think that's normal. So, uh, regards to the program. Who? <laughs> Hello. Good evening, folks. No, Welcome I sound to the crowd. <laughs> 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 What's that? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Schlatt light. Hey, Justin. <laughs> hey, Justin, so much for wearing black. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Shout out to Apple for providing us with so many products that we're using today. And shout out for Spotify Premium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to anyone who has Apple Music because it's inferior. And you can't see what you listen to all year. <laughs> it's the baddest film I've ever seen. <laughs>
for the CNU CLM Talent Show. My name is Larry. I'm one of the activities coordinators. Uh, my name is Sean, uh, another M1 student here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for uh, tuning in tonight. Uh, we apologize for a lot of the uh, last-minute changes, unfortunately, due to the uh, recent surge in uh, COVID cases. We had to move our talent show from in-person to virtual, uh, but we appreciate everyone's support and collaboration throughout this entire process. All right, so the itinerary for tonight, um, we're going to have a lot of our student performances. Um, after intermission, we're going to also announce the winners for our superlatives. Um, we're going to announce the winners for the silent auction as well, as well as we have a raffle. So the raffle is for a $50 gift card to FIGS. And to enter on our Facebook page, we have posted a tiny URL link for a Google form. Um, tiny URL link is tinyurl.com slash com talent show raffle. And the winner will also be announced at the end of the event. All right. And so uh, we'll start off with our, uh, our first act. We'll get things started. Uh, we have... Uh, John Clement, he is the uh, MPS program president. Uh, he will be performing an original song tonight. Take it away. Hi, so um, yeah, my name is John. I'm an MPS student. Uh, I wrote this song back in October. It's an original. It's called Count the Stars Again. They put me first tonight. I don't know if that means they like me or, or they, I don't know. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes anyway. All right, Kyle, let's do it. I know that saying sorry is barely just a start. What else can I do? This is my truth. I was a fool who'd finally found a friend. And now you've turned away, and I fear that it's the end. Now I just lie awake and worry. That you're really I can do so. 
again and hope that someday you might do. chills you mentioned it was not that much of a performer but i mean if that's true i mean that's got to change asap i know that was, that was incredible i felt like a I felt like i was a judge on a singing competition i golden buzzer <laughs> right away yeah man i also hear it's coming up spotify soon so if y'all are interested you can check it out keep keep an eye on that yeah um and also one more reminder for everyone at home um we encourage you all to interact through the youtube comments or um i think there's a stream chat as well and uh, show all our performers the same love you would uh, if you guys were here in person. Um, who do we have up next? Uh, we have uh, Dr. Puglisi. You want to give a quick little introduction? Yeah, so um, we have Dr. Puglisi, who is our biostats teacher, but he's also a physics professor. He also is a magician on the side. I mean, what doesn't this guy do? God, I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, like Larry said, uh, th this performance is uh, going to be interactive, so people would like to comment and such, uh, I'm sure he would appreciate it and we would too. Um, without further ado, uh, please welcome to the stage Dr. Puglisi for the amazing Pepe Magic Show. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Thank you very much. Um, welcome to this magic lecture because it's, this is not a magic show this lecture, this is how I do my lectures. Um, the things that I like to teach is the scientific method. So today, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to have another review of the scientific method. This pile over here represent the students. This pile over here represent the teacher. That would be me. And that will be the lecture. As you can see in the lecture, there is nothing, like some of the media side lecture that you are tuning in. <coughs> so that's when the student goes to the lecture and the professor explain the scientific method. The scientific method is an orderly steps. Start with the first step, that is observation. You see a phenomenon. The second step, you create a hypothesis. The first step, you look for the background knowledge on that topic. Fourth step, you create the experiment. Fifth step, you gather the data. And sixth, you have your conclusion. Okay, so good, so, <coughs> so far so good. So the student goes to the, uh, to the lecture and gets that idea that they have to do it in that orderly fashion. First, the observation, second, the hypothesis, third, <coughs> create the research, so on and so forth. But as they are new students, they are always very original. So they wanted to do, Professor, I would like to do my research in a different order. You know what? Instead of going first with the observation, I will just go first and publish. I know that the data <coughs> will, will fit my hypothesis. So I prefer to do it this way, the opposite. But <coughs> the professor, that is me, said you have to go to the lecture. And once you go to the lecture, you will see that the scientific method has to follow that order, you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you may clap, that was a good trick. <coughs> but, <coughs> so <coughs> then in the second year when you have to do the, the, the uh, scholarly project, you come <coughs> to the class and said, you know, I would like to do the scientific method. But now this time the teacher said, you know what? Why don't we are original? Why don't we change the order? As the philosopher Karl Popper said, Damn with scientific method. Stop the emphasis in intuition and we have to be more emphasis in the experimentally falsifiable. Okay? If you understand what, you, what I said, 
means that you went to my class. Okay, <coughs> so the down the teacher said you have to follow that direction. We have to be original. We have to do it the other way around. And the teacher, are you sure, Professor? I'm absolutely sure. Okay, if that's the case, <coughs> I will follow your advice. You may clap, that was also a good <laughs> trick. <coughs> but then the professor, just to bother the, the student, said, you know what, I was rethinking the topic. and uh, I think that better use the normal approach. First observation, then the <coughs> generating the hypothesis, followed by research, then you have the experimental design <coughs> and <coughs> uh, conclusion, so on and so forth. This time, the student is mad. It's mad at the professor because he's going back and forth, back and forth. So he said, okay, you want to be first the six? I'm going to be the six, but I'm going to be this way, upside down. <laughs> Would you like the number five? Okay, I will do number five, but up the other way around. Number four, uh, on this side. Number three, <coughs> this way. Number two, upside down. Number one, ah, backward. Okay. But the professor said, you know what? <coughs> you have to follow the scientific method that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, yeah, really? Yes, uh, I will do that. <coughs> Thank you. But then in another <coughs> inspiration, the professor said, well, what about doing something much better? We are going to just use the even numbers. Let's say just the hypothesis, then the experiment, and you just publish the data, two, four, six. So uh, uh, <coughs> the student is a little bit concerned now, so he has to be shake it to be convinced that now he has to do two, four, and six. A little bit of thing. So go two, four, and six. And then the professor, but he's a mean professor, you know what, no, I changed my mind. Let's do it one, three, and five. Can you do that? Okay, professor, let's try to do one, three, and five without changing like this. <laughs> and you get one, two, three, <coughs> and five. <laughs> At this time, they say, okay, let's, let's go back to the sources. Let's go back to the root. Do one, uh, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do the original uh, thing. But the, uh, the student is completely exhausted. He doesn't know which uh, orders he has to, to do it. So he asks his friend, that would be you, which one would you like to go first? Let's invent a new scientific method. Which number would you like to go first? Four. Four. Okay. This way, that way, sideways. Face down, good. After four, six. six. What was six? The scientific method, conclusion. So we are going to put the conclusion because this program, besides being entertaining, is educational. Okay. So six, how would you like to do it? This way, that way, or normal? Normal, thank you. After that, we have two, one, and three. Observation, <coughs> hypothesis, research, experimental data. Okay, which one? One, thank you. After that, we have two, three, and five. Five, this way, the other way, this way. Final answer? Three, okay. Which way, sideways, normal way? Normal, thank you. And two, upside down, okay. Can I have a brrrm? So they said one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the scientific method. And the student said, 
you know, Dr. Puglisi, I'm going to all your lectures, so I know that I have to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Wow. Jesus. Boy, did, did, did he just say we didn't need data collection for our SDSS, SDSSP project? I think that's what I heard, but oh. I mean, with magic, I'm going to every lecture. Yeah. I was already, of course. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, boy, would I love to be able to rearrange the scientific method just around like that. <laughs> would be fun. Would be easier to learn, but hey. Yeah, well, we're doing what we can. Yeah, yeah. All right, so who do we have up next? Uh, so we have uh, Spencer uh, Bautista. He's a uh, second year student in the College of Pharmacy. Uh, he's going to be on the guitar and singing some covers. Yeah, so before we get there, um, I want to remind everyone who you know joined us a little bit late. Um, we're going to have an intermission between a few acts, and after that we're going to announce the winner of our superlatives, and they're going to win these handy-dandy little Trophies, Academy Award, Academy Awards, um, same fitting. amount of honor, and um, yeah. After that, we're gonna announce raffle winners, silent auction winners. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the very end. Um, so yeah, Spencer Bautista is a COP student, uh, yep. P2. Um, I think he's gonna be covering some songs for us. From what we heard, it's phenomenal. So. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll continue uh, judging, as you will. But I, I think th Golden Buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> I'd give a Golden Buzzer to Dr. Puglisi as well. We can do that as we want, right? There, of course. Am I good? Okay. Hi, my name is Spencer. I'm, the, uh, I'm in the College of Pharmacy. I'm going to be playing a couple covers, like they said. So here you go. about you when they told me things but my mind did not change I still feel the same what's a life with no fun please don't be so ashamed I've had mine you've had yours and we both know we know they don't get you like I will my only wish is I die real cause that truth hurts those lies heal you can't sleep thinking that he lies still so you cry still tears all in the pillowcase big girls all get a little taste all pushing me away so I give a space all dealing with the heart that I didn't break I'll be there for you I would care for you keep thinking you just don't know don't run from that say you're done with that on your face girl it just don't show when you're ready just say you're ready when all the baggage just saying is heavy the party's over just don't forget me we'll change the pace and we'll just go slow Cause it's my birthday i'll get drunk if i want to can't deny that i want you but i'll lie if i have to Cause you don't say you love me to your friends when they ask you even though we both know that you do you do one time been in love one time you and all your girls in the club one time also convinced that you're following your heart when your mind out control what it does sometimes we all have our nights though don't be so ashamed i've had mine you've had yours and we both know we know you hate being alone with you and the only one You hate the fact that you bought the dream and they sold you one You like friends but somebody should have told you something To save you, steady say
And I'd give up forever to touch you Cause I know that you feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't wanna go home right now And all I can taste is this moment And all I can breathe is your life but sooner or later it's over I just don't want to miss you tonight And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am And you can't fight the tears that ain't coming For the moment of truth in your lives When everything feels like the movies Yeah, you bleed just to know you're alive And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am Don't you know that I'll be around to guide you Through your weakest moments to leave them behind you Serve in silence, darken your sight Just cast some light and you'll be alright We'll cast some light and you'll be alright for now Cross is all over Cross is all over Heavy on your shoulders The sirens inside you Waiting to step forward Disturbing silence Darkens your sight We'll cast some light and you'll be alright 
cast some light and you'll be all right for now. Crosses all over the boulevard. 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 Streets outside your window. another golden buzzer. Uh, I don't know much about guitars, but uh, tuning in between each song, pretty impressive. Yeah, I love what he did with uh, Drake's Take Care. I thought that was a really cool take on it. Oh. Yeah, and the Iris by the Google Dolls. Like, that was one of my favorite songs growing up. Like, man, I'm, color me impressed. Oh, yeah, it was a, a beautiful rendition. Beautiful mm -hmm. rendition, indeed. Um, yeah, again, thank you all for staying patient with us. I was trying to navigate um, this last minute pivot uh, to a live stream format. Um, so, wh who do we have up next performing? So, uh, with the next act, uh, we have Austin. Uh, he will be performing on the on the piano. Uh, it actually is called the uh, Ballad Number One by Chopin, Frederick Chopin. Uh, I hear Chopin was pretty famous of a composer. Right? He's famous for his nocturnes. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know much about it, but I know it's uh, one of his most popular pieces. Uh, I'm a big fan of classical music, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. Um, did you ever play any instruments when you were growing up? Yeah, indeed I did. Uh, I played a little bit of the uh, the viola, um, a B flat clarinet, and then Ooh. I finished with the uh, bass clarinet. Yeah, that's about right. it. How about you, Larry? Well, I mean, my parents made me play piano when I was really <laughs> little, but I was not a big fan. Um, then I converted to trumpet when I was a uh, you know when I had a selected wow. musical instrument. All right. But I was asthmatic, so like I couldn't <laughs> really get that buzz going too well. Hey, it's all right. I'm sure you're still good. A lot of a lot of talented peers here across uh, across our school. Yeah. So without further ado, um, welcome Austin onto the stage.
Oof. Oh my god. So much for our musical history. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. I, I know. I know. I mentioned I played piano in the past. <laughs> I take that back now. <laughs> now that that is tough. It goes another another buzzer. I got chills again. Woo. My goodness, Man. that was it's impressive. Also looking as good as ever. I've I've noticed he's always dressed nicely. And I know. That was another another prime example. Fresh like cut too. Uh, yo. It's looking great. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. All right. So. Uh, I just uh, another reminder for uh, for everyone um, tuning in. So we're going to be uh, having a raffle. So uh, basically, on the COM Talent Show uh, Facebook event, there's a link there. So if you'd like to enter the raffle, uh, you can fill out, um, uh, put in your information there. Uh, the link is tinyurl.com/backslash/com uh, talent show raffle. And then we're going to be announcing the winner at the end. And again, uh, for those who uh, weren't able to hear or didn't hear earlier, the uh, prize that we're raffling off is a $50 gift card to Figs. Do you have any Figs? Uh, actually, I do. Yeah, they're, they're like pretty them? nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the scrubs. They, they not only sell scrubs, they also sell uh, some other accessories and, and items. But pretty nice, pretty nice brand, I'd say. All right, very nice. Well, um, coming up next, we have Danielle, uh, an M2. Also playing piano, but um, she's actually going to be playing an original piece. Ooh. A lot of original pieces, a lot of creativity. I think that's uh, it's one of the many themes today. Uh, yeah. We're looking forward to it. Uh, I'm sure to I'm sure to be great. Yeah. Well, everyone, give her a warm uh, round of applause for welcome.
That's all I can say. I mean, it takes a lot of dexterity and aptitude to perform a piano piece, like like we saw earlier with Austin, but then to have an original piece on top of that, that's also just yeah. as impressive. My goodness. I mean, I'm constantly impressed by our classmates and peers. Um, so uh, our last uh, performance before intermission, uh, what do we have? Yeah, so uh, basically it is a performance uh, titled uh, Bollywood um, Bharat Natyam. Uh, Larry, what is uh, Bharat Natyam? Can you explain what that is yeah, for us? Yeah, so I was curious, um, so I searched it up, and a Bharat Natyam is a major Hindu form of Indian classical dance. Huh. And according to Wikipedia, it's actually the oldest classical dance um, in India. And it takes a lot of uh, themes from South Indian religions and ideas. Um, and what's especially cool is they have these really cool anklets with bells on them, which really yeah. adds something else to the, the performance. Interesting. Um, I was also often told that um, many Indian families are, are very into it, so uh, many children start learning at a very young age. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, without further ado, please welcome our performers onto the stage. For our first uh, dance performance of the night, didn't disappoint. That was uh, that was spectacular. Yeah, I thought so too. Wow. Um, so we're going on to intermission now. Yeah. Um, so it's 6:53. We'll be back up in like 15 minutes around, say 7:10, uh, and then we'll get right into superlatives. Then, um, just a reminder, guys, make sure you keep submitting your name to the raffle and uh, stay tuned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
back if you need to. Do I need anything off here? No? All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, this time, I'm joined by Angela. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Angela. <laughs> um, and we'll be presenting the superlatives, uh, the winners for the superlatives. Um, before we do that, again, I want to remind you, um, the raffle is still up and running. Uh, we will close that at the end of the last performance. And then um, at the end of the last performance, we'll announce the winners for the silent auction items. Uh, and then after that, the winner of the raffle will be announced. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. All right. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> All right. The first one we're going to announce is most likely to win a Nobel Prize. Who do you think it's going to be? Oh, man. Um, I heard Dr. Al-Khatib does some amazing research, but I also know my buddy Stephen Lai is a phenomenal uh, intellect, and he's, he's definitely one of the ones I'm thinking of. I've heard Stella's pretty smart. All right, let's see. And the winner is? Stella Nolan and Dr. al -Khatib. Woo! All right. So <laughs> if you guys are a winner for one of these superlatives, make sure to come by Stephanie's desk, the front desk, next week to claim your really awesome uh, trophy, Golden Globe Academy Award. All Perfect. right. All right. Next, we have most, most likely, likely win. Oh, yeah, most likely win the Hunger Games. We have a lot of nominations for this one. I know. It's going to be a tight one, too. All right, Dr. Ramsamu has my vote. I think, Ooh. I think, I think he's got it. I know he's missing an ACL and he has a reconstructed other one, but I don't know. I think he's got it. I gotta stand up for the MC Sean Cho, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> most likely when Hunger Games, the winner is <laughs> Sean Cho. Congratulations, Sean. <laughs> and Samantha Brophy. <laughs> and Samantha Brophy, um, you two may collect your trophy next week as well. All right. All right, next, most likely to brighten your day. We have a lot of nominations for this one as well. This is a lot. Um, honestly, any of these people, I think, deserve to win this, but unfortunately, we can only select two. My girl, Caroline Goswami. All right, <laughs> and the winner for most likely to brighten your day is Alan Chen and Dr. Garrett. Okay, next, we have most likely to become president. Um, just a heads up, if we don't have your photo, it's because we couldn't find it. <laughs> we apologize profusely for this. Um, we hope you don't hate us. Uh, the winner for most likely to become president is? Lily and Bill Bautista. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> it's got to be Bill. It's got to be Bill. Yeah. He's the class president, uh, yeah. for those that don't know. Okay, next, we have most likely to open up a yoga studio. All right, if this you had to put one. money on this one, who would you, who would you put it on? Bardia, come on, it's gotta be Bardia. And the winner of most likely to open up a yoga studio is? <gasps> what? What? Maria and I'm Darcy. Sorry. I'm sorry, Bardia, I guess you don't talk about yoga enough. Step uh, it up. <laughs> All right, and for you guys, again, reminder, come to yes. um, Stephanie's Stephanie. desk next week to collect your prizes. Most likely to become a travel blogger. I think I think Dennis has this one. Dennis, I think yeah. Tiffany. Tiffany is our lovely photographer for the night. You know, <laughs> dark horse here, Dr. Alconda. I had him today actually for my med skills uh, preceptor. Yeah. I totally see him as a travel blogger. We'll see. Let's find out. All right, <laughs> and the winner is Tiffany and Rachel Lee. Congratulations. Cheers, Tim. Next, most likely to star in a reality TV show. Oh, mm. A lot of good options this for this is, one. I know. I don't know. Let's All right. Let's see. I vote Tez. And the winner is? Justin Yu and Mildred Min. Congratulations, thank you too. <laughs> All right. Sort of. Okay, next we have most likely to be Instagram famous. Oh. Another another hard one here. I mean, my co-host, I have to get a shout out to Sean Cho. <laughs> I think he also, look at that, look at that beautiful smile. It's got to be him, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's no other M1. Oh, Johan. <laughs> He's the only other M1 in the running. <laughs> and the winner is? 
Johan and Alyssa Wynn. Stay tuned for Johan's guitar performance later on. He's going to be singing as well. Oh, that's right. Okay. Most <laughs> likely to die from a boba addiction. We had a <laughs> fewer nominees for this one, but I think it's still a tight race. Yeah, this one was tight. And Let's see. the winner is... Emily Chu and Beverly Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you two. You two as well may uh, claim your award for most likely to die from a boba addiction. All right, let's see. So the best person to be stranded with on a desert island. I'm gonna give a shout out to Amy Miller. I think she's the goodest one, the goodest. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, the winner is? Oh, Amy, Amy Miller, Miller. And, and Michael Sparks. <laughs> congratulations to you too. I 100% agree. <laughs> okay, this is the best one. Most likely to sleep through an exam. No, since Justin won, most likely be starring in a reality TV show. I think they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, a little bit. All right. I agree with that. And the winner now. Himanshu, what, I'm sorry, mm. Wag, <laughs> and Sean Wong. Congratulations, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, coming up next is most likely to compete in the Olympics. Ooh. I don't know. No. Bardia, this might be your one. Yeah, I thought I pegged him for the yoga. Um, although I remember Kobe Diaz came into Dr. Dylan's lecture one time looking absolutely shredded. So <laughs> I think it might have to be him. All right, let's find out. And the winner is? It is Bardia. Bardia, congratulations. And Tara, Tara Gallant, M2. Oh, oh he's Bardia's doing a handstand. <laughs> doing a handstand off stage. <laughs> Most likely to start a band. Well, you're going to find out soon. Dr. Cusick, he's a good guitar player. He is also coming and performing, but so is Johan Park. So let's see. We'll see. So is Arya. Wow. Oh, yeah. They're all here. I okay. wonder why they were nominated. <laughs> the winners are? Matt oh, Matt Hurst. That's Dr. not Matt Hurst. It's not. That's Dr. Ernst. <laughs> Dr. Ernst and Dr. Cusick. <laughs> you two may also <laughs> come to Stephanie's desk tomorrow or next week to collect your, <laughs> collect your award. Make sure you don't miss Dr. Cusick. He's up next. Most likely to become Surgeon General. Honestly, I think all of our classmates are deserving of this one. This one was really tight. Um, let's just find out who it was. It was, it was really close. Yeah. And Dr. Louis, too, he gave a wonderful presentation today. That is right. And the winner is? Wow. <laughs> we have four winners for this one. Dr. Louis, Leah Borgen, Alyssa Abram, and Hannah Niger. Woo! <laughs> I think this is the last one. All right. Most likely to host a TED Talk. I, I think mm. this one's got to be Justin again. Um, the same person <laughs> who's, you know, likely to sleep through an exam, reality TV show. You know, it's only um, right, right? I don't know. Lily, I think Lily's up there. Yeah, that, She's also performing next soon. Okay. So. And the winner is... Dr. Aronson and Emma Dixon. Congratulations, you two. Was this the last one? All right, yeah. So that was the last Superlative winner. Congratulations to all of our Superlatives winners. Um, you guys all voted. You guys all nominated. And up next. Make sure you pick up your trophy next week with Stephanie. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have Dr. Cusa coming up. All right, no. All right. So now up next, we have Aria on guitar playing some flamenca.
Thank you so much for that beautiful performance, Arya, as well as helping me and half my class pass foundations. <laughs> Originally, his act was planned with an audio mixer with a 48V Phantom Power XLR input, preferably with reverb effect, but we were unfortunately not able to provide him that. I thought that sounded amazing. Yeah, no, it, it definitely did. He also looks amazing. I, I like how he buttoned the shirt a little bit too. It kind of really fit the vibe with the whole flamenco. Right. It's good to be back, by the way. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Actually, uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you to the voters for uh, nominating oh, nominating and selecting me for most likely to win Hunger Games. 
Uh, I don't know if it was because I talked about eating a lot. Uh, maybe people mis uh, mistook Hunger Games for literal Hunger Games, but nevertheless, thank you, everyone. I appreciate that. All right, so it looks like we have uh, Johan and Lily coming up next with a, with a guitar piece. Oh, they're covering Say It by Maggie Rogers. Big Maggie Rogers fan. I don't know. I don't know this song, but I know it's a difficult one, and uh, they're both very talented musicians. So, you know, I'm I'm expecting, and uh, I know it's going to be a good one. Yeah. So, Larry, uh, you know, uh, of all the acts so far, do you have any? I, they've all been spectacular. Do you have any uh, personal favorites? Oh, it's so hard to choose with all those good ones. I think I'm gonna have to go with Dr. Puglisi because I feel like if I don't say his, he might fail me from his <laughs> class. Um, I don't want to get dropped from the school, so. Uh, it's also a pretty unique magic act. It was also, I, I want to say, I, uh, I've seen his act from multiple angles, and I still haven't figured it out. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's about as legit as it comes. Yeah, I've seen it multiple times, too, and it's every single time it still, still wows me. still gets me. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about you? What was your favorite act? Uh, I, I think, like I said earlier, uh, I'm a big fan of classical music, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with Austin's piano performance. That was, uh, it was touching, it was uh, incredibly moving, and also I think just the, the emotion that he displayed, uh, and you can tell by his body language too on the piano, it was, uh, it was just altogether a phenomenal performance. 100%, 100%. Well, without further ado, let's welcome Lily and Johan onto the stage. How are y'all doing tonight? Thank you to our handsome MCs. We're so lucky. Thank you to SVC. We're really excited about this. And we're really grateful for all the hard work you put in. Uh, I'm Johan. <laughs> and I'm Lily. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, we're going to be performing Say It by Maggie Rogers. Um, there you go. Can everyone hear that? Sound OK? All right. Here we go. <clears throat>
I'm speechless. Well, I, I do have some things to say, I guess. Uh, I, I, heard, uh, I heard during the, well, I heard from uh, some sources that uh, asking if I'd run out of golden buzzers. No, I did not. I actually, I have, uh, I wanted to give a golden buzzer to every performance before this. That's been yeah. terrific. That, that performance, I know that song must be so difficult to cover. Um, I love the arrangement they did with it too. Yeah. And the amount of breath control displayed, wow. Just truly phenomenal. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard they were uh, their voices were were hoarse practicing this song. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was difficult. It sounds yeah. like a difficult song. Well, our next performer actually doesn't need any introduction. <laughs> no, he does so, not. Okay. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the stage, the one and only Dr. Cusick. Uh, thank you, everyone. So originally, I was planning on doing a song with the two daughter, my two daughters, but uh, unfortunately, with COVID, I'll do a solo act and. Uh, I don't want to complain, but why'd you put me after such a great act, you know? Why couldn't I go after Dr. Puglisi, you know? <laughs> he has a great sense of humor. I'm sure he'll enjoy that joke. Anyways, well, thank you all for uh, putting this together. I appreciate it. And uh, so I'll do a song um, you probably might have heard, um, Country Roads by John Denver. So please sing along if you know the chorus. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, growing like a breeze. Country roads, take me home. On the sky, misty taste of moonshine, tear drop in my eye. Country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home. Country roads. calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. And driving down the road, I get the feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday, country roads take me home to the place I belong. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Wow. Another golden buzzer? Another golden buzzer. Wow. It makes sense that he got uh, voted most likely to start a band. 
Absolutely. Yeah. What a jam. What a jam. Shout out to West Virginia. I'm not from there, but shout out. Great song. Great song. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm also really sad that, you know, your daughters can join us, but Dr. Cusick, I think you have the talent, you have the looks, you have the charisma to kind of have a Justin Timberlake or Harry Styles-esque solo career. So thank you so much for coming. <laughs> All right. I think that brings us to our last performance, doesn't yep. it? Yep, it, it sure does. It sure um, does. So but can you tell me a little bit about Bangra? Uh, I sure can. So uh, from, my, from my limited knowledge, I just want to add that as a caveat. Uh, Bangra uh, is a dance that originates from uh, the Punjab state of India. Um, and traditionally, uh, it was performed to celebrate uh, successful harvests. So that's, that's as far as I know, at least. Well, all right. Without further ado... We were both young when I first saw you. I closed my eyes and the flashbacks. <laughs> What's up, dog? What? Shit, bro. This shit in the wind. What's good with it? Watch out, man. Watch out. Dill G coming, man. Oh, word. They say he the goat. He all the way down here. Yeah, dog. He killing the game. Dill G. Watch out. Watch out. Damn it, dog. They all the toll it down. जिन्ना तेरा पार गोरी है कब्रू तब ऐरी नू भी मिठा बोल दानी तू तब फिर जाट दा प्यार गोरी है देख बोली बुढ़ बच्च जिन्ने खादने ओ दा बच्च बैंडा सरदार गोरी है कब्रू तब ऐरी ना भी मिठा बोल दानी तू तब फिर जाट दा प्यार गोरी है तेरा रखा मैं रब रखा यार दा ना बजी दा लवांटे सार गोरी है
Very nice, everyone. Great way to great way to end a uh, second amazing dance performance. And uh, I'm joined by my new co-host. Hi, I'm Angela again. <laughs> uh, while Larry is uh, sorting out the the winner of the the raffle that we mentioned earlier, uh, we're just going to be so we actually held a silent auction as well. And so Angela and I will be reading off the winners of the silent auction. All right. So to kick it off, first we have a picnic basket donated very generously by Dr. Conrad Forrest. And the winner of the picnic basket is Lily. Lily Sue. Congrats, Lily. All right. Uh, the second item is a dinner at Dr. Garrett's house, donated generously by Dr. Garrett's herself. And the winning person for this was William Bautista. <laughs> Congrats, William. All right, next up, Sewing Lesson by Agnieszka Witanis. I'm sorry, Agnieszka, if I butchered that. And the winning was Lily again. <laughs> nice, Lily. Okay. All right, and the, the fourth item, uh, sorry if I uh, mispronounce this, Amigurumi Crochet Lesson, uh, donated again by Agnieszka Witanis. And the winner of this is Bardia Gayumi. Congrats, Bardia. All right, next up is a creme caramel flan and donated by Victoria Jang. And the winner was Ellen Chow. All right, next item is a lemon olive oil cake uh, donated again by Victoria Jang. And the winner of this is none other than Justin Yu. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next. This was a good one. So this is Personalized Polymer Clay Mugs by Nadia Godorosha. And the winner was Larry Chen. <laughs> Congrats, Larry. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next item is a dinner with one student uh, donated generously by Dr. Patricia Chen. And the winner of this dinner is, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce it, uh, Arduron Talebzadeh. Congratulations. Yeah. Next is a dinner with Dr. Ramzamouj and donated by Dr. Ramzamouj. And the winner was William, William Bautista, again. <laughs> Very nice. All right, and ooh, very interesting item here. So it was a guitar and singing telegram by Dr. Cusick. And the winner of this is Joel Rabara. Next, this was a tight one, Dinner with the Dillons. Um, and this is for six, donated by Dr. Dillon. Um, and the winner again was Arshavan Taleb Zabdeh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and item number 12 uh, is, a, is an outdoor oil painting lesson uh, donated by my uh, co-host Larry Chen. And the winner of this is Paul Dean Davejan. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats, Paul Dean. All right, I think. Oh, a couple more. OK. Gift basket for a loved one, donated by Stephanie Mraz. And the winner is Larry Chen. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have a party decoration service, uh, donated again generously by Stephanie Mraz. And the winner of this is also, again, Larry Chen. And oh. sorry, we made a mistake earlier. So dinner at Dr. Garrett's house. She was generous enough to offer two dinners. So Alan Chen, you also won. Hey, congrats. <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay. All right. All right, and I think they're tallying up the raffle, so we're gonna announce that now. Thanks to everyone who donated. All right, we're gonna welcome Larry back. All right. So I've, if you guys remember from Halloween Bash, I have this very nifty software called Excel, and it helps me determine raffle winners. Um, but to do that, I need someone to give me a random number. Does anyone out there have a random number? Three, Single digit. Four. <laughs> I heard four. All right, so that means I'll click this choose button four times. <laughs> the name that shows up right here will be the winner of the $50 gift card to fix. Sounds All right, good. you guys ready? Let's All do it. Right. 
This is number one. Number Ooh. two. Ooh. Number three. Ooh, and drum roll. Drum roll, please. Hang, you win. Congratulations. Hang, <laughs> win. All right, I want to thank you guys all for um, joining us. I know this was not ideal um, setup for the talent show, but given the current circumstances, I think um, I had a lot of fun at least. Did you have fun? Oh, of course, of course. Um, I do want to give a special shout out to everyone who's been helping out uh, from SBC to Jamal to everyone else, um, all our volunteers. Thank you guys all so much for making this possible. Yeah. Um, I think that's I think that's all we that's have, guys. Yeah, thank thank you again to everyone, uh, especially people supporting online as well. We appreciate that. Thank you to the performers. Uh, yeah, we understand this was a little bit difficult and spontaneous, but we we made it work and uh, it was successful. And hopefully next year we can uh, have the talent show in person. And if it's in person, I'll be there. I'll be performing next year. Yeah, what you gonna be performing, Sean? Uh, we're gonna keep that a secret. All right. Well. Oh. Um, all right. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank yeah. you again and. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Have a good night, guys.